What up, what up, Winbush here. And a lot of you guys have been asking how I was able to get the splash effect to run real time inside of Unreal Engine 5. So I wanted to put together this quick tutorial for you guys to follow along with. And so I am using an Olympic file inside of Unreal Engine 5. And the pack that I'm using is from the Pixel Lab in which I am affiliated with. So if you do purchase it, make sure you use my affiliate link down below because that does help with the channel. But if I scroll through here, you can see that we have a lot of different water splashes in here in which you can actually just make the material inside of Unreal Engine like I did to make it look like slime. So if you use this or any other Olympic file, let me actually show you how we can import this into Unreal Engine 5. Now with Unreal Engine 5 opened up in the background here, you can see I have inside of Windows Explorer, I have the Olympic files that I downloaded from the pack. So we have a low speed, high speed, and base speed. I'm actually just going to left click and drag the base speed one in there. And then it's going to bring up the Olympic cache importer. And so I like to just select the top one right here, make sure it selects everything. And then under import type, where it says static mesh, I want to make sure I do geometry cache because this is going to bring in the animated Olympic file. Now for right here, I just want to leave everything at default. But down here, if I scroll further down where we have down here under normal calculation, where it says recompute normals, I'm actually going to turn this on because this is going to bring in a smoother Olympic file for us. And I can actually turn this off right here where it says ignore triangles. Now everything else, I'm just going to leave here at default. I'm actually going to click on import and just wait for it to import everything in here. And once your Olympic file is actually imported, I'm just going to left click from my content browser, drag it into Unreal Engine, and then I'm just going to drag this down like so. Then over here in my details panel, I'm just going to zero everything out in my location here. I could actually probably delete this right here because I don't need it. And now we have our Olympic file inside of our scene, which it looks a little bit tiny. So maybe let's scale this up by like five, something like that. And as you can see right there, we actually have it inside of our scene. I'm going to delete this player icon as well. And in order to get this to play back, we actually need a sequencer in which if I come up here, select this clipboard, I'm going to left click on this, add level sequence. And I'm just going to leave it by the default name and click save. And now if I pull up my sequencer, we can actually select the Olympic file. I'm going to left click and drag it into here. And right here under our Olympic file where we have track, I'm going to left click on track and come down here to geometry cache, left click on this. And now if I play it, now we have the splash effect happening inside of Unreal Engine and it's all working inside of real time. So I can actually have this loop through and there we go. And it looks pretty good, right? Like this is all playing back in real time. 24 frames per second i can actually bump up the frame right there 60 frames per second and everything is just playing through nice and smooth so a lot of people are asking me how i was able to do this this is actually using the olympic file once again but hopefully this helped you out i know a lot of people make their own olympic files in like cinema 4d i've done that in the past with x particles and i showed you guys how to do that or people use houdini basically any program that can export out an olympic file you can import it right into unreal engine and have everything play back fine so if this did help you out make sure you subscribe to the channel if you're new Leave me a comment down below and until next time, stay fresh, keep creating, and I'll catch you in the next video. I'll see you soon. Take care.